Today I'm going to be showing you five ways to use this M319 stamping plate from Maniology. It is considered a utility plate. I've been doing these looks with M052 and it's not big enough for my thumbs. So I'm really excited to see these bigger areas and the smaller areas are going to make planning for my smaller nails easier. In this look, I'm going to be using the Grayscale Trio. This has Storm Cloud, Gray Joy, and Luna, which is my new favorite white alternative. And then I'm going to also be using a sheer stamping polish called Violet Spectrum from the Rainbow Splash Collection. The first way to use this plate is to lay down your base for nail art, or just a base in general. Sometimes I like to use stamping polish as a base. Um, it can be hard to get it to level nicely, so this stamping the base is a great alternative. And you can also build up opacity pretty quickly because it dries so quickly. Next, I'm going to apply Luna. And this is for um, a creative base, that's what I'm going to call it. Once you see it, if you have a good name for it, comment below. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I'm going to use two layers of Luna for my base for this look. Um, I'm using a low scraping angle and a rolling technique to pick up these larger areas. You don't want to use very much pressure when you're scraping these large areas, and you want to make sure your stamping card, your scraper card is um, pretty stiff. If it's too bendy, it will scrape out the middle of the design. So for the first look, I'm dabbing dots of the colors on the image, and I'm going to scrape it to kind of blend them together, and then I'm going to pick it up with my stamper. The more you scrape, the more blended they become. All right, I've applied it to the first nail. Smooth out the edges there. And that's the first look. And for the second look, I'm also going to be applying Luna as the base, and I'm going to show you a marble technique for this. Now, I will tell you not every scrape was perfect. Um, and if you pick up more polish on the edges than you need, as long as your area is big enough to cover your nail, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a perfectly outlined pickup. I did speed this video up a touch because um, I, I work quickly, but not this quickly. There we go. Got my base, and now I'm going to dab the colors on again. The trick with this is you don't want to use too much polish, but you want to use enough to be able to swirl them together. You are not going to scrape for this look, and so it is going to be thicker on the stamper. And when you pick it up, you do want to blow on it for a little bit and dry it off a tad so that it's not completely smushy when you apply it to the nail. Don't use too much pressure as you'll smush the paint around, but use enough to pick up the whole design. It might take a little bit of practice. And once again, I did blow on this a touch to dry it off before I applied it to my nail. Take off some of the extra. And then I'll show this to you. I love these colors together. I think they marble really nicely. There we go. For the next look, I'm going to apply my base of Luna again. I'm going to be showing you how to do a gradient. And when I stamp my gradients, I like to use the lightest color in my gradient as the base. I think it helps the colors blend nicely. I'm going to do two layers of the base. And you can see I had to scrape that one a few more times. As I was scraping again, I was kind of adding the polish back in. Um, it takes a little bit of practice, but you can definitely do it. All right, so for my gradient, I'm going to lay down all three colors. I'm going to use a very low scraping angle. I'm going to scrape really quickly, and I'm going to kind of move the card up and down a little bit to blend the colors. Okay, there's my first pickup. I like to use the flat end of the image at the top of my nail because of the shape of my nails, but I think the flat end can also be your free edge. All right, apply the colors for the second base, or second scrape. Pick these up and apply them. So this is the second layer, so you can tell that the gradient is getting a little bit more blended. The more layers you do, the more blended it will look. So if your first layer looks like it's not blended very well, don't get discouraged and give up. Keep trying. All right, here's the third. 
I was pretty happy with how this looked, so I'm going to stop. You could continue if you wanted to be different. You can go as far as you want. All right, I'm using Storm Cloud for this base. And on my thumb and my pinky, I'm going to show you how to do a pond look. So I like the dark base because I want my light design to pop. I'm going to do two coats of this so you can see how, how opaque this becomes in two coats. I'm sorry, I'm stamping a little off camera. And then my base is dry. I mean, it dries so quickly when it's like that. All right, I'm gonna stamp on some dots randomly. I like that this is about the size of my nail so I can kind of plan where their dots are gonna go. And then I apply them to my nail. The next thing I'm gonna do is the same thing to my thumb. I like this gummy stamper. Um, I think it held the polish enough when I smushed it that they didn't get too thin. All right, I'm gonna apply a layer of sheer purple to my pinky for the first step in the pond look. And then I'm going to do some more dots over top of the original dots to give it some depth. All right, and then I'm gonna clean that off and do the purple. And that'll be the last layer. You can keep layering as much as you want because the layers are so thin because you're scraping to apply them. All right, and I'm doing the same thing to the thumb. I'm, again, sorry, I'm stamping off camera. I messed up the tip a little bit there, but that's okay. All right, more dots again, just randomly. I tried to keep them on the smaller side. All right, and my last layer of purple, I really love the sheer polish collection if you don't have it you need to check it out i've had so much fun layering the different colors for different looks all right so now i'm going to go back through and i'm going to add a layer of purple to each design now as you can tell they have sat while i've done these other designs and so the purple is staying wet enough that i can apply it and i did not have to apply a sticky base coat to make it stick okay i'll do the middle nail I love how the purple is changing this completely. All right, last nail. And I will show you pictures at the end so you can get a closer look at how these turned out. Okay. I hope you found this helpful.